This tutorial will show you how to perform fitting to data in a graph using the Quick Fit gadget. Note that you need Origin 8.1 SR2 or a later version for this gadget. The gadgets menu, available when a graph is active, has a collection of gadgets for performing curve fitting, statistics, peak integration, rise time analysis, and FFT. The Quick Fit gadget has multiple fitting themes. I'll select the Peak Gauss theme. This places a region of interest ROI object in the graph layer. The data covered by the ROI is fit with the function, in this case Gauss, and you can view the parameter values in the label above the ROI. You can see these values update as I move the ROI or resize it, changing the ROI width to cover a different range of data. By clicking the arrow, we can in fact expand to full plot range to cover the entire data plot. You can also change the function. Let's see how Lorentz will fit this data. We can then go back to our original function, changing it back to Gauss. This arrow next to the ROI box offers a context menu with many options. This time let's go down to Preferences which will open a multi-tabbed dialog to control various settings related to the ROI and to the output. On the ROI box tab, let's set it up so we're only displaying the center value, the XC value. So we'll uncheck all the other parameters and then apply that and notice the update on the graph. We can also change the number of significant digits to 5 and again apply that. I'll now click OK to close the dialog. If I bring up the context menu again, I can create an output. A text label box is added to the graph with the current results. If I wish to change what is shown in the label box, let us go back to the preferences Label Box tab and change the parameter table so that it follows the ROI box tab settings. When I hit OK, I then can update my last output, which will update the label box, showing just that XC parameter value. Anytime you do an output, it's also sent to the results log. And that is controlled again in the preferences on the Report tab. Output the default is to the Results log. We can now save our settings to a custom theme for repeated use. To do that, again I use the Context menu and choose Save Theme. In the dialog that opens, I'll change the name and then click OK to save the theme. Since I'm done fitting on this graph, I can click the X to close the ROI. Let's make a new graph active and then use our saved theme to fit the data. So to do that, from the Gadgets menu, I'm now going to see my theme listed, my Gauss. The ROI with our custom label is shown on the graph. Let me close the ROI to show you that you can also fit without bringing up the ROI. To invoke one of the quick fit themes without the ROI, what you want to do is hold down the control key while selecting one of the themes. This will then perform the fit to the active data plot using our saved theme settings. And you can see that the label on the graph reflects these settings. Now let us look at fitting two subranges of the same data plot. In this graph, there appears to be a change in the slope of the data going from left to right. Let me bring up the Quick Fit Linear gadget, or said another way, it's the Quick Fit gadget with the linear theme settings. 
let's position the ROI so that it covers the first point to the ninth point. The data display window will show us the data points that are covered by the ROI box. Let's go into the preferences and on the ROI box tab let us also display the R square value. When I hit apply we'll see the R square value is displayed above the ROI box. On the label box tab for input I'm going to add the range and in the equation let's show the parameter values. In that case we don't need a parameter table so we'll set that to none and then we can close the dialog. Now I'm going to keep moving the right edge of the ROI to include lesser points. You can see on the top that the R square value gets better. The best value is when points 1 through 7 are covered. I'm now ready to output my results. In the label box we have the range of data that was fit as well as the equation. Let us now move and resize the ROI to cover the remaining data points. eight through fourteen. We now want to output the results creating a new output. We now have two fits to two different ranges of the data and labels showing the respective fit results.